Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday and it's literally 8.19 a.m. I'm about to go get my workout finished this morning. I haven't done morning workouts a whole lot lately. I've been really saving them for the evening, but I thought it would be nice to just get it out of the way today. Here is the workout fit for today. I'm just wearing this Vital Seamless set from Gymshark that is in the green marl color. And I love this color. It's just such a pretty set. So I'll link this. And then I'm also wearing the Gymshark Dreamy Sports Bra and then my Swift Run Adidas sneakers that are not so white anymore. <laughs> workout that was such a good upper body workout my entire upper body was literally on fire after the first round so if you guys want a good upper body workout definitely try that all you need is dumbbells and you could probably use something else if you don't have any but i'm using my alani new confetti cake protein some almond milk mixed berries and a banana and then i just put some ice in here because i want it to be super cold This smoothie is so simple yet so freaking good. So I'm gonna drink this and then go get in the shower. It's a little bit later and I just took a pic for Instagram because that's what we do now. We take pictures for Instagram in front of our mirrors. And that was my only reason for actually putting jeans on today. Um, but I thought I would do a little outfit of the day because you know, everything has been about loungewear lately and it's still fun to put real clothes on. So I'm just wearing this really cute Hell Yeah LA tee from Urban Outfitters. And then these ripped mom jeans are my favorite. They're from American Eagle. I'll link them below. These are on sale right now. They're normally like 50 or 60 and they're on sale for like 30 something I think. And then I was also wearing my Fila Disruptor sneakers but I took those off and I literally just wanna show you guys what I was wearing before I probably put sweatpants on. Here's your daily dose of Trooper. He doesn't want me to do my chemistry homework. Look at those eyes. Should I do my chemistry homework? Oh, he said no. Okay. I'm a little stressed out right now because I just went to go sign up for my classes for the fall, which so far should actually be in class, even though my classes over the summer now are automatically online, even though they were originally supposed to be in class, obviously coronavirus. But I'm taking Gen Chem 2 over the summer and then I'm supposed to take organic chemistry in the fall, but now I'm freaking out because I went to go sign up and it gave me a prereq error because I haven't had Gen Chem 2 yet, but by the time that class starts, I will have had it. I had to email my advisor. I'm just really hoping that he goes in there and overrides it quickly because it was the last available day and time for that class like literally it was completely full because I'm stupid and missed the time to sign up I don't know how I did that normally I'm always on top of it and I missed it so now I'm just getting like whatever's left so I ordered another pair of super cozy slippers from emu Australia and they're honestly super similar to those pink ones with that like crisscross detail but these ones are just by a better brand and I wanted to try them because I know a lot of bloggers have them they're this charcoal gray color and they're really soft they're definitely like more sturdier than the Amazon ones, so I'm sure these will last me longer but I love both of them either way I can just tell that the material of this is gonna last longer they're so cute they're more comfortable than the Amazon ones not gonna lie they're just like more cushiony and what better time to have more than one pair of slippers when we're all like in quarantine I mean I'm gonna wear these every single day Melissa Maribel's thermochemistry playlist and I am following along with her notes. These are the thermochemistry notes. They're super helpful because this is such a difficult concept. Definitely one that's a little more confusing. So if you want to check out her notes, I'll put the link in the description, but she gives lots of examples, all of the formulas, and just walks you through step by step how to do these problems. dinner 
right now. I actually just threw it in the oven. When we went to the grocery store yesterday, I just got this like Publix aprons meal and it's a sweet chili shrimp with vegetables and rice. Sounded good because it's completely fresh and never frozen. So they make these and then they like sell them in these little boxes. So I threw it in the oven. It should be ready in like 20 minutes. And that's my easy meal because I'm not cooking tonight. Here is my dinner tonight. It looks really good. I just put a little bit of pepper on top and that's it. It's already completely seasoned and ready to go. So shout out to Publix for that. And I put a paper towel down over these placemats because I'm so afraid I'm going to ruin them. So sitting here at doing my online lab experiment for the week and this one's on titrations and my sister is helping me and this is so cool this is way better than the simulation experiment from last week and they give you like the beakers and everything you need and you have like a little lab notebook so it records all of your data well now what am i gonna do we lost the pipette should i just click check he's gonna yell at us oh you need to fill the pipette with enough sodium hydroxide to rinse it okay that's fine but you took my pipette <gasps> it's back! Oh man, they deduct points. Oh my gosh. That's their way of telling me to quit playing around. Drag that thing over. No. Sarah, the last time I put it in the sodium hydroxide, it told me I was going to contaminate the beaker. Now it needs to be rinsed with the solution. Put it over in the sodium hydroxide. Fill it a little. Oh. A little more. There we go. Alright, now pull it out. <laughs> Rotated. It literally just took the pipette again away. Like, what? I don't recommend this this guy. Make a rate my professor and just like, for this guy. <laughs> yeah, we need to put him up on rate my professor because I'm giving him one star. Say that he gives like no study guide. Yeah, and that he like takes your pipette right in the middle of the experiment. Well, happy Wednesday. I guess this vlog is continuing into another day because it is literally midnight now and I just finished everything I need to do for lab. And then my sister and I just hung out on FaceTime for a while because we really needed to catch up. And now I'm gonna go to bed and probably not even get to play Animal Crossing, but I will definitely play tomorrow. So it's the next day, obviously, and I actually just threw some makeup on. I had lecture at 8.30, and then I had a little bit of a break. I actually laid back down because I woke up with really bad cramps today. And I just finished my lab. I found out how my final exam is going to work and everything like that. But it's actually lunchtime, so I'm going to make lunch, and I thought I would show you guys what I'm making because it's my first time ever making this. I'm going to make tortilla pizzas for Chad and I, and I don't have pepperoni, so they're just going to be cheese pizzas. But this is all you need. I saw this on Instagram. A lot of people are making these, and it just sounded really good. So just need marinara sauce, some olive oil, the tortillas, and... Uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay, so you have to drizzle some olive oil on a pan on medium-high heat And then you take your tortilla and you just want to completely coat the tortilla in The olive oil you just keep flipping it back and forth until it gets nice and crispy The next step is to spread a thin even layer of the sauce on the tortilla And then a thin layer of mozzarella cheese all over. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven on broil for about five minutes. Okay, so I pulled them out of the oven and now I'm just gonna top mine with Parmesan cheese and some red pepper flakes because this is always what I put on my pizza. But it looks really good. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Those tortilla pizzas were a huge success. Next time, definitely going to get pepperoni though to add on top. But now I'm going to make a whipped coffee. I've already showed you guys how to make it, so I'm not really going to go through it. But a bunch of people recommended trying to use a handheld mixer. So I'm going to use our handheld mixer this time and see if I can get it a little bit more fluffy. Okay, that was definitely a lot easier. Look how thick it is. Really glad I tried it that way. Probably could have got it even thicker, but I was just tired of hearing the noise of my mixer banging against this plastic. So I think I got it pretty good though. Currently sitting here working on my exam five study guide for chemistry because my exam is on Friday. Finished off these pretzels that are from Target that I think I told you guys about these. They're so good. 